Today we're gonna take a look at plugs and tunnels that I got from Urban Body Jewelry. I'm hoping to make this a quick and short video, because I only have three pairs to show you. But it depends how long I make this fucking intro, because first I just wanna talk a little bit about the brand. But as always, there will be timestamps below, so you can skip it if you want to. This was my first time ordering from Urban Body Jewelry. At least for plugs and tunnels, I have ordered from them only once before and that was a piece for my septum. Which I haven't shared yet, but I'll put it in a future septum jewelry video. I got to know about this website from other YouTubers. I've seen hauls from Brianne and also my YouTube friend Elliot had a special promo code for this. One of the main reasons that I haven't ordered a lot from this website is because I find them to be a bit overpriced. They're not technically super expensive pieces, but compared to other websites that sell body jewelry, I find them to be on the expensive side. That's also a reason why I only got three pairs this time, because that along with the shipping turned out to be almost $50 in total. And their shipping fees are also more expensive than for example body art forms. I think they have a shipping at around $5, between $3.5 and $5 I think while Urban Body Jewelry had a shipping fee of $10. So especially ordering from outside the US, it can get quite expensive. So because of that, I have mostly ordered from body art forms, but UBJ seem to have a larger selection of tunnels and plugs. So I do check their website now and then just to see if there's any extra special pieces that I might want that are worth paying a little bit extra for. But let's take a look at the pieces that I got this time. I think I mentioned this haul already back in my previous Crazy Factory haul from August last year. So I've had these pieces for quite some time now. So the first thing in my order was this midsummer sale promo code. <laughs> Not really relevant any longer. <laughs> I also got two different stickers. Two of these measurement or gauge cards. And a total of four business promo cards, which might be a little bit excessive. <laughs> then let's finally take a look at the first pair of plugs. They are called the Rainbow Aurora Gem Stainless Steel Plugs, and these were $15 total. I had seen these already while I was stretching my ears and knew that I wanted to have these when I reached my goal, because I really like the Aurora Gem. I've had that earlier in both my ears and also my lip labrets, but since I no longer have those, I thought it would be nice to finally get that in a plug. And I just love the different colors of the gem and how it shifts in the light. And I love the fact that these aren't just basic stainless steel tunnels, but they have the kind of oil slick pattern to them. I think that's a nice extra touch. And like I've said in my earlier videos, I don't wear screw backs very often, so I mainly save these for special occasions where I might want something a little bit more fancy, because they do look very nice and sparkly in the light, so I'm thinking that they're definitely good for the summertime, and maybe for those occasions where I don't necessarily want to show off the hole in my ear, so that they might just look like a big crystal earring. And I do wear a very small gauge, so I would definitely be interested in seeing how these look in like a very large size, like maybe in a 20mm or something. I think that would be quite gorgeous. There is just one small downside with these, and that is that the gem kind of sits a bit loosely in the plug. So sometimes when I move my head or just walk around, they will kind of slightly rattle, <laughs> which to me is slightly annoying. Uh, and it seems to be only one of them, so I'm not sure if they are supposed to be like that or if it's like a faulty item. So I've kind of been thinking about if there's any way I could fix that and maybe just put a tiny bit of glue on the backside or something. But I'm not sure if that will obstruct the light going through. But yeah, it's not too bad, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> then the second pair I got is also a screw back style, but they are tunnels. So these are just called abalone shell rimmed screw on tunnels and they were 1150 and I chose these because of two reasons the first one being that I prefer tunnels to plugs because it shows off the stretched ear and secondly because I've fallen in love with the abalone shell from my previous hauls 
If you watched either my Body Art Forms haul or my Crazy Factory haul, I had plugs from both those websites in a pearl and abalone shell pattern. So when I found these tunnels, I just had to have them. <laughs> so yeah, not much else to say about them. They're just a straight up screw back steel tunnel with the abalone shell rim. And my favorite color is blue and like slightly turquoise. So I just love how the abalone shell mostly shifts in blue and greens. The two plugs I got are slightly different from each other. They told me on the slip that they tried to match them as best as they could. But one is definitely more blue than the other. The second plug has more of a yellow or orangey tone to the shell. But there is some blue and green in there so they're not too mismatched. And I've not seen a lot of people wearing abalone shell plugs before, so I feel like they're kind of unique also. And then for my third pair, I went with a simple single flare glass plug. I feel like those are a staple that everyone needs in their plug collection. It's just nice and convenient for everyday use. And when I ordered these, I only had, I think, three pairs from before. So I just wanted something else in a color that I didn't have. And again, with blue kind of being my favorite color, I went for the Opalite single flare glass plugs, which were $11.99. I've seen these in larger gauges on other YouTubers, and I've always loved how these also shift in the light. They kind of look like a white plug, but then depending on how it sits in the light, it shifts from either light blue, but then also to a yellow and then a slight orangey red which I find to be quite interesting. The flare is also very small on them, so the front does look kind of tiny. And since they're white with a slight blue tint, they kind of remind me of a little moon. But yeah, very simple and cute and perfect for everyday use. That was everything that I got from Urban Body Jewelry this time. I did receive another package from Crazy Factory this week, so I'll definitely be back very soon with another plug haul. I also have a small side project with my helix piercings, so coming up after this video I think will be a chatty video about ear piercings. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss out on those videos. As always, a huge thank you to my three patrons who make these videos happen. One of them being Elliot that I got this promo code off of. So if I get the thumbs up and the code is still in use, I will include it here so you can use it if you want. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Recess.